in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the light To the night, I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through, it's true, baby let the light shine through, if you believe it's true, baby won't you let the light What's up guys, Badger here back with another top 10 best outfit video for you guys. And when I kid you not guys, these are the best outfits that you will ever see. I hope you guys enjoyed the montage in the beginning, basically introducing the outfits, but I didn't want to just keep it like that. You know me, I like to talk about my outfits and tell you exactly what every outfit is all about. And as you can see, we're wearing one of the outfits right now, guys. This is Run and Gun. But before we get into Run and Gun, let's talk about the very first outfit, and his name is Ricochet. Let's get up, let's stand up out this chair. Let's get up and let's go walk over here and let's go do this together. So I can show you guys these sick outfits, guys. And I promise you guys, I'm going to bring you nothing but the best of the best when I'm talking about these outfits. And I really hope you guys enjoyed that montage in the beginning, basically showing you what these outfits are all about. So let's get into it, guys. Let's get into outfit number one. Let's get it. This is Ricochet, guys. Ricochet is none other than a cartel drug lord. Yes, Ricochet is a traveling cartel drug lord. You heard me correctly. He's coming in and flying in a country ready to sell some drugs and kill anybody in his path. He does not care who's in his way. He's going to kill and sell and do whatever the F he wants because he got diplomatic immunity. <laughs> so let's get into what he's wearing. All right, Rick Ricochet is basically wearing the black military hat, the black scarf, black duffel bag, black glitched out shirt, and black shorts, the black leather gloves, full leather gloves on top of that with the red and black <laughs> dress shoes. I like these shoes, man, I really do. A lot of you guys might change it up. It's your choice, but these are the shoes that I chose because I feel like they're they dress, they dressy. He's dressed for comfort. He's ready to go after kicking ass all day. Gotta put on his slippers, right? <laughs> That's Ricochet, guys. Ricochet is definitely in that sick outfit. Definitely a freaking asshole. 
All right, let's get into outfit number two, guys. Outfit number two is the run and gun outfit that you see. Yes, run and gun. Let's open up this visor so you can see his face, guys. Look at that. Rick, look at that run and gun outfit right there. I know a lot of you running guys are gonna, run and gun guys are going to love this outfit. He is wearing the black glitched out shirt. The two, well, the black, the black, he's wearing two shirts on top of that. He's wearing... The, the shirt that I showed you guys how to do, how to mod your character in game, he's wearing one of those shirts with the black regular shirt and then the regular black dress shirt on with the full black leather gloves. They're on biker, a new biker helmet from the Cunning and Stunts. And one of the, one of the, what, what's the name of this mask? I'll tell you guys right now. The Mind Plastic Face Mask, guys. I love this. I guarantee you will never see anybody else with this but me because I bring you guys nothing but the best when I make my outfits. I take my time putting this stuff together for you guys and I hope you guys really enjoy these outfits. Also, he's wearing the Warlord, the Warlord joggers, guys, with the black boots on. The black, like, classy. I, I think they're Hush Puppies. I think they believe that. I believe Rockstar was kind of in, invent Hush Puppies on this game because there are some shoes that are out there that are called Hush Puppies. And those are what they look like, but they call them black boots. I really like how they look on this outfit, guys. I love this freaking outfit. That is running gun. Let's get into the next outfit. Dead President, another running gun outfit, guys. I kept this outfit as is. There was no need for me to change it up. Because Dead President is basically a Dead President kind of guy. He's dead, and he's ready to kill. He's killing anybody, and I love the way this face paint looks. Because it reminds me of the Dead President. It's a really old movie that my older brother used to watch. It's freaking Dead President, and it was, like, really sick. If you haven't looked at it, check it out, and you'll see what I'm talking about when you look at this face paint. Look at the face paint on Dead Presidents, and come back to this. And I kid you not, it looks similar. looks freaking similar. So, Dead President is an asshole. He's a jerk. He doesn't care. He's dead, and he's trying to make everybody just like him. He wants to kill and destroy lives on the state of, my, like, the state of GTA. Just basically, he's that purge asshole kind of guy. He's ready to kill and lock and load. That's Dead President right there for you guys. Let's move on to the next one. The next one is Exodus. Yes, as you can see, Exodus. He is a military mercenary biker. Yes, you heard me correctly. Military mercenary biker. A mercenary biker that's in the military. And as you can see, he has on the camouflage biker helmet. And he also has on the skull. The black skeleton mask underneath it, guys. Freaking sick. I love how it came out. He's wearing the green top, the green utility pants with the black and white vans on, the black racer gloves, and a black duffel bag. Like, literally. This guy doesn't care. The military only calls him out when they need a job done. They need a job done quick and fast. He's pulling in there on his motorcycle, taking any and everybody out that's standing in his way. Doesn't care who's there. He's killing the world if he has to. That's Exodus, guys. Let's move on to the next one. The next one is Expo, guys. Where there's Expo, there's two of them. Expo also has a brother named Tropic. And you guys will see him later on in the video. So, this is Expo. Expo is bright and ready. He's a racer. Yes, he is a racer killer. He's a freaking killer racer. He does not care. He has a brother that's standing by his side to back it up. So, he is not afraid to take on any and everybody. Because it's a two-team tag combo when they fight. Literally, I kid you not. These guys have so are like, like they're so insane their personalities are freaking chaotic like they're freaking psychotic that's how bad it is so they're pulling up in on their dirt bike set with explosives and blowing anybody up in their path guys that's expo for you guys let's get on to the next one this is the one that you guys have been waiting to see for a while now i tweeted him out probably like a couple of, a week or two ago and mid classic midnight yes he is a classical kind of guy He's gonna kill you with class, kid you not. He's gonna pull up in his fancy outfit and beat the crap out of you and won't even get a drop of blood on his shoes. That's how classy he is, guys. <laughs> Freaking classic, classic Midnight, let's see. Classic Midnight is wearing the black bulletproof helmet, the black vest, the um, black vest shirt, um, black pants, black suit pants, and the black boots with the black full gloves. And he's also wearing the Valentine black and gold mask on, guys. Love it in a in a parachute, black parachute. I love how this outfit looks. Classic midnight. He's dressed to kill and he's ready to go. He also has a friend too, so stay tuned to see him. Let's get into it. Toxic Venom. This is Toxic, guys. I know you guys remember Toxic. I had to feature him in because this is pretty much one of my first, like, favorite outfits, designs, like, military outfits that I have ever made, guys. I love this outfit. Not that I ever made, haven't made any before, but I really love how this one came out. Toxic Venom, guys. Toxic Venom is just an apocalyptic soldier. 
He's an asshole. He's by himself and he's protecting and serving anyone that needs help. So anyone that's basically trying to kill off the less fortunate, like the people that can't fight or defend for themselves, that were to that's what Toxic Venom comes in. He comes in basically kicking all the other assholes' asses because it takes an asshole to beat an asshole, right? And that's Toxic Venom. That's what he's all about. He's really just standing there just basically ready to take somebody out in this apocalyptic apocalypse world. Like, he's freaking crazy. I love Toxic Venom. Like, it's just sick. He is wearing, one, he's wearing the, um, what, finance and felony hat, the gas mask. The last team, last team standings, team tops. He's wearing the utility pants with the camouflage vans on, <laughs> and the team black gloves, guys. I love freaking Toxic Venom. Also a black parachute with a green scarf, guys. Love how this outfit looks. That's Toxic Venom. Let's move on to the next one. Like I told you guys before, this is Tropic. Expo has a brother, and this is Tropic. He is ready to bring paradise to you. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. But, yeah, he is ready to bring paradise and kick your ass any day of the week. Literally. Tropic is ready because he's that tropical paradise kind of guy. He's ready to whoop ass and take names and drink a more <laughs> a what a mar a margarita at the same time. Yes. <laughs> so as you can see, I did not put a mask underneath him or Expo because they did not need one. Just because the face paint is already sick and it matches the outfit incredibly. He is also wearing the Warlord Jargus whip, the Tropic, the Tropic Vans. On as you can see, why his name is Tropic and he is bright and ready to go, good and ready with his racer outfit on. Like I said, these two guys, Expo and Tropic, are coming in on their motorcycles, ready to blow up and take out anybody like literally their bikes are laced with explosives and they do not care who is around if you if they you cause harm towards them then they will cause harm towards you <laughs> so that is tropic guys let's get on to the next one yes i tweeted this one out the other day guys this is poetic justice poetic justice he's speaking the truth and defying the law he does not care about the law he's all about poetic yeah he's like literally poetic justice for a reason right so basically, Poetic Justice is that poetic kind of guy that's ready to, drop, ready to drop his justified bullet in your heart. He does not care. So if you, you speak something wrong to him, Poetic is just going to lock and load and just give you some justifiable truth with his bullets. <laughs> he does not care and he does not speak at all. <laughs> so he's ready to go. That's Poetic Justice. He is wearing the black glitchy shirt, guys. Yes, as you can see, he's wearing the black two shirts, right? He's wearing... A uh, vest shirt and a t-shirt on top of that with the suit pants and the black boots with the full black gloves The mine what's it what kind of mask is this is the black plastic mask? Yes With the bulletproof helmet and a black parachute guys. That's poetic justice Let's get on to the next one and the last one. Yes This is the last one because he's like that red apocalypse kind of guy that red Freddy Cougar It's like hey if Freddy Cougar had a child this would be him This is Freddy Cougar's son guys red apocalypse and he doesn't care He's not coming in your dreams, he's coming in your realities basically to drop you down on the ground. He's using whatever it takes to kill you. Whatever he can find, he will deal damage out towards you. He does not care. Red Apocalypse is just that apocalypse lifestyle kind of guy that's been basically a nuclear reaction, just went off like atomic bomb, just destroyed the world. And guess who's left standing? Standing in a world full of a world full of hate full of people right red apocalypse and he's ready to kill anybody in his past in the streets of los santos he does not care so hey this is red apocalypse and he's ready to go so hey man like literally guys back on we put back on ricochet guys so guys these are the best top 10 outfits for the cunning and stunt dlc that i put together for you guys i really hope all of you enjoy these outfits like I take my time designing these outfit concepts for you guys to give you an idea of what you can do or create something better guys so I really hope you guys enjoy this stuff man cuz hey it took me some time to put this together but I did it for you guys because you guys are the best so this is Badger signing out and I'll see you guys in the next one peace let me get my celebration on bitch yeah take that, and that. <laughs> all right guys later